Hey, this is Justin with DayTradeTheMarkets.com on uh, October 31st, the first day back after two days off due to the uh, big storm on the East Coast. Uh, first and foremost, Dave and I, uh, Dave and my thoughts go out to anyone that was affected, and we hope uh, we hope the damage was was minor and that your uh, family and everyone is safe. Um, here in North Carolina, we were pretty lucky we didn't get affected too greatly, very minor. Uh, so certainly, first and foremost, our thoughts go out to uh, to those that were affected. Um, with that said, it's the first day back um, after a couple of off days, and thought I would just go through, look at the uh, E-mini S&P, and try to help make sense of what's going on, and then what to look forward to, or look what to look for going forward. Um, heading into today, we always like to look at the bigger picture uh, bias first. Uh, we we're we we're essentially, I mean, we we're leaning down, but essentially mixed with the idea that if we could get below this 01 level, you know, the the market's tested this 01 level several times and hasn't been able to get below it. If we can get below this 01 level, then we're pretty firmly bearish. And if we could get above this 16 1675 area we would be pretty bullish. Um, so with that said, we're kind of in this containment and we wanted to watch what happens. And so with that as a backdrop, and so again, you know, going forward, and also it's a little bit early, I'm doing this uh, around three o'clock Eastern, this video, as opposed to when the market's closed because uh, today's Halloween and I'm gonna pick up the kids early from uh, school and do some trick-or-treating. So I wanted to get this video out, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to. But look, going forward, that's gonna be our, our, our bigger picture look going forward. If we can get below this 01, look for a pretty good leg lower. If we can get above this 16, 1675 area, look for a pretty good leg higher. Now with that said, when you have that as a backdrop, what we like to do is is look for structure and look for good opportunities to get into trades. And so, you know, we were leaning slightly down again with the the, the context of these two levels that we're really watching. And so early in the session, we kind of grinded down, but for the first hour and a half or so we didn't have any major structures and if, as you can see we just had light pink and light green bars and those are what we call level one buying and selling aggression they're just very minor um, nothing to really make too big of a deal out of but then right here we have what we call a level three selling bar and that's telling us that there is extreme selling aggression coming in on that bar and that our expectation is that if the high can hold that the market should travel, you know, have have a, a little bit of a sell-off at least short term, and so that's in fact one of our, you know, as soon as one of these bars forms, if you like the direction of the market, if you like the the short side, you know, this is our first kind of trade that we talk about is get try to enter a limit order to get short a tick or two from the high of that bar, knowing that it should act as resistance, and you can see that's what happened. Uh, we did get follow through lower, so our expectation is that the market will continue lower, probably test this 01 level. Another level three bar came in at the same time. Uh, this one didn't test the high right away, had some continuation, but you can see shortly thereafter that this resistance, intra intraday resistance zone formed, as well as our filter turning uh, pretty bearish. And so from the idea of, of a high edge trade opportunity, Certainly, we know that the high of this level three bar should act as resistance. Our bigger picture bias is down, so that's with us. We still have a little bit of room to move before we hit this 01 level. Our filter is red. We've got a red resistance zone. So we know that getting short somewhere in this area, around this area, makes pretty good sense. It's got a lot of pieces of evidence, at least in terms of how we look at the market, in its favor. And you can see that getting short here made pretty good sense. We tested right down to a very sensible target, which would have been this 01 level, or even a little before it at this green potential support level. So hopefully that makes some sense in terms of why this was a high edge trade. It doesn't mean it was going to work out perfectly. You know, anything can happen when you take a trade, but you know when several pieces of evidence line up, that's what we call a confluence situation. And we know that it's a pretty high edge, pretty high probability trading opportunity. Now, with that said, let's look at another potential opportunity, which was right here. Again, if you do the same type of analysis, we've got the red resistance zone. We've got a red filter. We've got our bigger picture bias is, is leaning down. Um, the only caveat is that it's right into this 01 level. So if you're going to take that trade, that's the one thing going against you. So if you're going to take that trade, you're certainly going to want to be nimble and you know make sure that the trade moves in your favor pretty quickly or you want to get out for about a break even if you can. So 
you know, discretion is probably the, the better idea there because we're trading right into that major level that we've been watching for several sessions um, that we want to be careful of. Um, you can see when that resistance, which didn't come through, and often what, what we look for is when a uh, when a setup or a, a situation that we would expect, in this case we would expect the market to sell off here with the caveat being that there's a support here, when that didn't happen and this uh, zone turned from red to green, again we are against our bigger picture bias but we know that this 01 level could act as some support, the filter is at this point neutral. You know, this is an aggressive area to be getting long, certainly, but there is some good, there is some decent logic for that, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, and if you did get long here, you certainly would want to be thinking about getting out at the, the red resistance area. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, now we're, uh, we've kind of oscillated here between the resistance and the support, testing the resistance again. So we'll see what happens the rest of the day, uh, if we can have another leg higher, if we're going to go ahead and test these lows. Um, We'll just have to wait and see on that. But going forward, again, we want to watch what happens overnight and in, into tomorrow. Can we get some good acceptance below this 01 level, or do we make another run for the, the 16 to 17 area? So that's what uh, that's what we'll be watching. Hopefully this made some sense. Um, and again, thoughts go out to uh, anyone that may have been affected by the storm, and um, let us know if you have, uh, have any questions uh, at all. Okay, thanks so much, and uh, have a good evening. Take care.